Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. Now before we get into it, I finally have a good mic. Huge shout out to Lex. He sent it to me. I finally got back from Poland, aka we were at LCQ, which you guys are going to see right now. Some of you guys already know what happened, but you know, we're going to go over it anyways. How could I not? So shout out Lex. We finally got it set up. We finally got a new mic and today we are going to go over our match to qualify to world so as you guys know we didn't make worlds directly we lost this year to luminosity gaming and we had to go through lcq to qualify so we were given the group of death is what it was called which had the other na team chasmat gaming and then ourselves clash who is the number two team in all of south america and vn esports who is just a super super good team after we came first in that group which is an accomplishment in and of itself we had to go on and face reject if any of you guys keep up with brawl esports you guys know exactly who reject is reject is a choppy levi and men me a choppy is a two times world's winner he's won the last two worlds so this is a super hard team a team that is commonly known as top five in the entire world and we have to go against them not even in worlds in lcq just to make worlds so, I mean, we have a super tough path. We have a super hard job ahead of us. But here we have our game versus reject. So we're going to turn on the casters a little bit so you can guys hear them a little bit in the background and hear some of the noises in game. Here is the draft being shown. And then obviously you could see me, Sans, OG, and to the right, OG against reject, one of the best teams in the world. So to go over the draft a little bit, they first picked Buster. Buster was commonly first picked there, kind of known as just the best brawler there. We went Squeak and Gale because Squeak is a really good control brawler, probably the best control brawler available. And then Gale is a really strong anti-tank. So, you know, we kind of have both ends and then last pick. And then we last pick Sandy because Sands is really good at Sandy. And it was just a comp that we were fully comfortable with. We love that comp. So we kind of got exactly what we wanted. So hopping into the game, let's show you guys what happens here. So this is taken from Brawl Esports' Twitch page. If you guys want to watch the official worlds or anything like that, you go on their Twitch. We're going to start off the game really well. I'm going to get a kill with Zara on the right side. Sandy's going to get a kill on the left side. And we're going to get an immediate Sandy super. Now he probably could have placed it a little bit better. It was pretty low down. And he does try and go for the goal there. But unfortunately, he does mess up. But he has a lot of hits. Zara finishes off the kill. And we're in a really good spot here to move forward and just hold some good positions. So since we have the Gale and the Squeak, it's really easy to hold it down. Sans's job, you know, isn't really necessarily to hold it down. He's the aggro one for our comp and the one that's supposed to be going up, dying, getting Sandy supers, etc. So it's okay that he dies, we can hold it down, but it does make a little bit of a mess. The Cordelia spawns right on top of Sans, which forces Zara to use his uh, Gale blow. And then the cord gets the super, so we're kind of pushed back right now. And again, Buster's a really good brawler, so it's going to be really difficult to beat. Sans puts the Sandstorm down, which doesn't allow them to heal. But while doing that, he gets taken into the dimension. I don't know how we stop this, but we do manage to do so. Big shouts from Ark, and we, you know, we do actually get out of it. We're not in the greatest of spots, but a lot better than getting scored on. So we move up the map a little bit. Sands is missing a couple shots right there, so he's, you know, not in a bad position, but not in the best position either. He's going to go down, Zara's going to get pulled, and he's also going to go down, so I'm left alone with Menmi. He takes me into the dimension, and unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. So they get the first goal of the game, and kind of strike first, and they take the one nothing lead, even though we've been playing pretty good. So I'm going to throw a slowdown, and Zara is going to blow a choppy right into my slow, which leads to us getting a kill. Sands is going to go up, put himself in a perfect position to receive the pass. Venmi makes an amazing save on the gadget, but we, you know, did a little bit too much. So we're able to score the goal. Good play by everyone on the team. And again, same thing. Sands gets a Sandy super. It's thrown down. Venmi doesn't see there's a slow over there. So I'm able to get a nice three tap on him while Sands and Zara are holding down the right. I also am able to hit my squeak super, which I use the slow. So we're going to get a couple of hits right or a couple kills right there. Sands is going to get a couple hits to a Sandy Super, and I'm just going to run up to Levi because I was full HP. Then my teammates regen, show some aggression, and hold the mid. So we're kind of just waiting for Sands to get a Super now. We're holding it down really well, doing a really good job. Sands gets a Super. Overtime happens, and when Overtime hits, I mean, they have a Buster, which isn't the worst in Overtime, but we have Sandy, we have Gale, we have Squeak. We definitely have a better Overtime comp. I'm able to get the kill on Levi. Really good plays by Sands. Really good plays by Zar really well played by us and we're going to take the one to nothing game lead in brawl ball so going into the next game you guys can see we're already in og is watching everyone's making you know our communications and stuff zara sniffling as always um i'm gonna miss my first gadget which is an issue because a choppy gets really good position 
and he's probably close enough to be able to score right now um i make a good play by hiding in the net rather than going in the open and i'm able to catch the ball and then sand is going to get a stun and a kill over there on men me so we're going to be able to kind of push out of it and clear the ball really well i push up to get levi while sands and zar deal with a choppy i'm able to get the kill but a choppy gets his shield and they didn't really get him too low so he pushes me really aggro uh he gets a kill on me with the shield which is kind of toxic to be honest but Sands does get a Sandy Super, Zar has his blow, so we're making, you know, pretty good progress of getting control of the mid. And then when I come, it obviously becomes a lot easier, being a squeak, being probably the best control brawler on the map. We're able to get Levi to one shot, but then I get taken into the dimension. Zar gets pulled over there, really good play by a choppy. I go down, and there's just nothing Sands can do. He played it just about as good as possible. He does get a super, but there's just no way you can really stop that unless they mess up. Sands throws the super down, and here, you know, again, we're in a good position. Every time Sands gets a Sandy super, we just get put in a really good position where we can have easy control. I don't really hit any shots. Sands doesn't really hit any shots, but just the Sandy super alone is enough to kind of stop them and keep them out. So Menmi's going to go forward and actually just go jump to his death. I don't know why he does that. Levi then follows. Kind of, Sands, if you're watching this, he basically did what you always do, where you just follow someone when they die and you also die. Uh, and because they both died at the same time, Sands is able to move up, get the pass from Zar. Really good play by Zar to pass him the ball. And then Sands gets a pretty easy goal. And then, you know, again, Sandy Super. Sands is doing a really good job at cycling Sandy Super. He gets a ton of hits there. I don't really need to use the slow right there. I don't know why I do, but we get the kill. And then Sands kind of throws there. I think he thought the game would be over and we would end it. Unfortunately, we're not able to get the goal, but I'm able to kill Levi. Zarya and myself are holding the mid really well. Um, we're able to get the kill. Sands gets a Sandy Super, so we're in a good spot. Good job there by Sands to just hold the Sandy Super. I mean, he knows how to play Sandy way better than me, so I'm not going to, you know, sit here and say, good job, Sands. You know, he knows what he's doing, but it was smart of him not to use that Sandy Super there because it would definitely would have been a waste. Definitely wouldn't have been as important as it is now going into overtime when everyone's respawning. Sands is able to get three hits there, and you guys can see right now, instead of attacking men, me, Sands is waiting for men me to get out of the dimension because you don't charge your super in the dimension and the sandy super is very very important so he gets a couple hits these guys are getting way too close to sands i honestly don't know what they're doing right now and again we have overtime comp we have the squeak we have the sandy super we have the gale slow and i mean nice and easy not so easy i'm lying they definitely had the first goal in both games but we are able to take the first set smiles all around and it is one nothing us so going into set two we're gonna first pick squeak now it's not gonna be captured in the video but the casters were talking about how they're kind of sold on our pick is what arc said i mean he said he liked the first pick squeak it's kind of exactly what we did in set one you know just trusting ourselves with the squeak and you guys can see we banned mortis now normally we would like to ban a couple more tanks if we want to if we want to first pick squeak just because you know squeak is pretty squishy and you want to be facing control brawlers you can see how they immediately picked max to run at the squeak so uh the mortis ban is good but i wish we had a couple more tanks banned Luckily, they banned Rosa and Buster. I don't know why they did that, considering they had last pick. I guess they didn't want us to first pick Rosa and Buster, but we were never going to do that. So, uh, kind of a waste of bans by them, and it definitely worked against them. A brother that we really liked using on this map, uh, at least in this current meta without hypercharge, was Lola. We felt like Lola was just a really good brawler and really fit our playstyle well. So, they picked two brawlers that Lola's really good into. So, although we're taking our time right now, we're pretty sold on the Lola. We know we're going to go that. We just don't know what else we're, we're going to go. Uh, we last minute substituted banning Crow. And we took out Fang. We know Achapi is really good at Fang. We know he plays Fang even when it's not meta. So he's very comfortable on it. So we're kind of just trying to figure out exactly what we're going to match with Lola and Squeak. Which is pretty weak to Fang already. Um, that can take one out. But also be good into other stuff. So again, we came up with Gale um so again squeak gale set one squeak gale set two it's just what we were you know really comfortable with at the time and i guess they were kind of stuck for what to last pick i think they were pretty decided that they were going to go fang until they saw the gale and then i think they're deciding right now again i have no idea if they are but i think they're deciding right now on if they're going to go fang still or not if there's any better options uh and they do decide to go with fang i don't know if it was necessarily the right decision i mean you can't really do anything to a gale once a Lola set up with clone in front of the Lola, you can't really do anything to the Lola either. And I mean, you can definitely kill the squeak, but it's not easy to get super off of. So we're pretty confident with our comp. I don't know what Levi's doing. He's like staring me down or something. Um, 
but yeah i mean we're pretty comfortable with our comp it looks like they're pretty comfortable with theirs considering they have a comp i feel you know they they played a decent amount uh but yeah we're ready to get into it i i mean we are into it i don't know what the cameras are doing right now but we're locked in we're focused you guys can see i'm a lot taller than everyone there it's like kind of uncomfortable to play without chairs but that's a that's a different issue so sand's gonna hit his first shot which happened to be a slow he's gonna get one two hits i think there meanwhile czar and a choppy are kind of trading on the right side um i originally had max banned on this map too the asians are good at max sorry not the not the asians the east asians are good at max that's what the region is called um honestly it's more the asians that it's it's just everyone from asia for some reason i don't know they're all so good at max i really don't know what it is but anyways forget the uh how good the asians are at max let's focus on the game here they take a really early lead which is something that's honestly not supposed to happen considering they have a max and a fang uh but a choppy's gonna miss his super i'm gonna set up and you guys can see right now so imagine being a fang i think you're one hit the super good clips there by menemy what are you supposed to do to us i mean he gets a hit over there on czar which i mean it happens but czar is trying his very best not to feed we're in the vc communicating saying don't feed don't feed don't give him super and that's exactly the plan he's only hit one shot in four gem spawns so this is getting really difficult for him. As for me and Sans, I think Sans is an okay matchup right now. It was a really good mute by Menmi, but it's going to lead to nothing. And again, a choppy just can't hit any shots. It took him six gem spawns to get a super and he dies. So seven gem spawns to just be a factor in this game. So I don't know if Fang is necessarily the greatest pick. And here we have good position, but I know he's respawning with super. So I'm going to back up. I play mid because I don't die with the gems. There's a reason why Sans doesn't play mid. It's because he does die with the gems. Uh, and I'm just going to put that clone right in front of me. And I don't know what a choppy's doing here, to be honest. He had really good position, and the other two were pinching out Sans. But, you know, we end up getting the kill. He doesn't really get any value out of anything. Sans goes down, but it's a 2v2 that we're pretty comfortable with, considering it's Gale and Lola versus Squeak and Otis. The Otis gets pretty down low, but Sans with an amazing super and a really good shot. He gets the kills. And me, Zara, Levi, and Achapi are battling for these gems. But Zara is doing a fantastic job at just keeping them low enough. And you guys can see right there, Sans gets the kill. And then on top of getting the kill, gets Levi to one shot. So that makes things really easy for me and Zara. That allows me to shoot Men Me. That allows Zara to switch position. I get the kill on Men Me. Zar and Sans get the kill on a choppy, and then we get the last gem we need and walk back to our spawn. That was a really tough game. I think the seven gem spawns in the middle where a choppy was basically useless is what won us the game. But you guys can see from all three of these games, we were down at the start and we came back and we won. And a lot of teams at a land are not able to do that. But you guys know, and all of our fans know, and I feel like at this point, everyone knows that us at LAN, we're composed, we can come back, we can win when things aren't necessarily going that well for us. And that kind of showed this entire tournament. So going into the next game here, they have a different strategy. They put the Fang in the max, just rushing at Sands, which as I said, is our squishy brawler. He's kind of the weakness to their comp. He can pop off with position and into certain brawlers, but it's just really tough for him right now. We end up getting two gems because of what they were doing, but Levi gets speed, Choppy gets super. It's just really difficult for us to kind of do something right now. I'm getting Levi low, but these guys are hard to kill on the max, man. I'm not going to lie. Like, these guys are just slimy. They're good. We're able to get Menmi dead. Uh, good job by Zar getting him low. Pretty easy job by me to finish him off. I go down, and I'm telling them, protect the gems, protect the gems. But Fang is low, so I think they were a little bit focused on Fang for the start there. Uh, and the Fang just backed up. Levi gets the gems. And for, I think that was a pretty bad just sequence of plays. I definitely could have stayed alive. But my death wasn't the biggest deal in the world. I think they definitely should have prioritized the gems. Uh, because if they did, it would be a split game. Or we would be up by a gem right now, I think. So just kind of not the best. That's a really hard thing to time right there for Zar, But he does mess up the timing there as well. And uh, I mean, it's just a little difficult for a squeak to stop a max with speed and a fang they're able to get the 10th gem and move out and i mean this i mean i don't know that middle point of this game kind of really screwed us up um i'd have to watch it back this is one of the first times i'm watching back our games to be honest uh, i'd have to watch it back a couple more times a little bit closer and more you know like three or four times at the same time to really identify the issue but that middle game we didn't have position but we had gems and gems is how you win the game we lost our gems handed it over to them 
and then they got a big lead we got position back but they had all the gems so it didn't matter they take game two and so now it's kind of a weird game of we know how they sent their players to the left side so it's like you know where do we send sands where do we send czar we decide to switch czar and they're smart they get ahead of us and they knew we were gonna switch so they switched ahead of that uh but choppy's kind of whiffing we're finally clipping levi finally having a good lola game again it's pretty hard but you know i have pretty high expectations of myself so we're doing good now that i have this clone down it's gonna be pretty easy for us to do stuff we get our lane situated here i have no idea what a choppy's doing why aren't you going on sans like i i have the utmost respect for a choppy i think he's an insane player you know he's won two world finals you don't win two world finals without being an insane player he took way too long to do that he took way 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 too long to do that uh i'm doing a really good job at clipping the choppy goes in he dies he takes a full clip of mine to the face takes one sand squeak shot as well and he goes down so now he has zero supercharge he literally has zero supercharge sands you know usually isn't really focused too much on the dodging isn't really you know focused too much on not beating super he hits me once there as well so he's one or two to super we have a fat lead Zara's doing an amazing job czar the last two sets has been playing gale which is a pretty underwhelming brawler unless there's a stun like there's really no big plays but czar has been holding it down super well gale is not an easy brawler to play i can't really pull it off against these high level players i don't think sans can either but you can see us on the left we're hype we won the second set and again we came back uh not really that game but game one we came back game two we lost full out and we managed to come back and we pulled things together and we got that set win you can see the excitement on sans's face you know i'm still locked in uh fully so is czar not a inch of a smile on either of our faces but sans he's looking like he's already qualled he, he just looks so happy at this point so let's move on to set three which is an awesome set was super fun and let's show you guys what happened so going to the next set we have kaboom canyon so our bands are pretty simple um we saw they were running some jump pad gale comps and we have not tried that a single time and basically the math is for that regardless if it's good or if it's bad or if they take it early in the draft whatever it is it's just something that they can attack us with it's something that they can use any time in the draft and we are never going to use so we don't want to leave something in the game that they can use whenever they want they can take it last pick in the draft even and that's not even going to be an option for us so we just remove that out of play crow sans hates crow so we just ban crow but we also did it with the intention of taking first pick colette which obviously gets mega countered by crow and we banned 8-bit again we were first picking colette if it was open so it's not like that wouldn't be a good matchup in the 8-bit but again it's just not a brawler we really like to play with um we do sometimes but definitely not on heist so they end up taking into the collect cordelia's which was super meta at this tournament was super meta or super meta i think it was a bit overrated to be honest but it was super meta and then they finally took the squeak away from us east asia is known for playing squeak so it's kind of interesting that they gave us squeak the first two sets uh but there was also this secret comp that we've been hiding that we didn't show any team except for one or two and it was buster and jesse i mean that's not what i was expecting and as you just heard from Trav, he said, that's not what I was expecting. This is what no one was expecting. In every watch party, in every tweet, in every, everything that I saw, and the, you know, what Ark and Trav are saying, no one had any idea about the Buster Jesse. And I mean, it's an interesting pick, especially on Heist, because Buster doesn't really do any damage, but we just have such a perfectly well-rounded comp. We have Colette that does damage. We have Jesse that can kind of do a little bit of everything. And then Buster, which is just a good brawler. And again, a little bit of everything. But as we go on to the game, we're going to show you guys exactly why this comp is so broken. Or maybe not this comp, but this duo of brawlers. So they, fight, they last picked Brock, which is really good into Colette and really good into Jesse. And it also gives you a wall break on this map. And on Kaboom, as you guys know, there's only two choke points, two skinny choke points that you can go through. So to have a third one, which requires a wall break, is really awesome. Because it's just, you know, another pathway you can go through. When you have three brawlers spamming two choke points, it's hard. To have a third, it really bails you out. So I like their comp. I don't think it's bad. But the way I see Heist is if you're going to have a Brock, you need to somehow have a way to get it on safe. And I don't think they really have the best way to get it on save. So Levi's going to come right up to me. And we're going to get a really easy kill to start off. I mean, I don't know what he's doing running up to a buster. Like, what do you think is going to happen? 
Um, and then here, I'm like, Sans, let's go, let's go. I got my shield. So we push up on the squeak. A, that's the wrong person to push up on. And B, what that means is because both of us went for squeak, I mean, we're a Buster and a Jesse. We don't really do that much damage. So what happens is the other two go and attack. And now we ask Zar, Zar, do you need help? Zar says, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Meanwhile, they've done 60% to our safe. What do you mean you're fine, Zar? What are you talking about? So I finally come back. They've done like 70% at this point. I don't know why he didn't tell us to come back. Levi takes him into the dimension and he just barely gets out. If I hit him right before he went in, he would have died. If Zar hits him there, he would have died. But they just have really good pressure on our safe right now. Brock super, squeak shots, 2%. And at this point, it's just... It's just wow. They beat us in a minute. And that kind of sucked because we were hiding this comp. This is something... There was a couple more that we were hiding that we didn't get to show. Um, and that I haven't seen anyone else use. But we were really hiding this one. And we wanted to show it work. We were so proud of it. Especially Sans. I'm usually the one that drafts for our team. And Sans is the one actually that came up with this. So he really wanted to win with it. It was something that we really wanted to win with. They start off with a really strong start. That corner on the bottom right. all like So many brawlers just try and get into that corner and just do damage. Because once you're in there... It's really hard to get you out, you know? It's You can shoot the safe from either side. You have to go all the way around. You have to have two brawlers to get the kill. Zar goes up way too aggressive there. Definitely should have taken some more time. But they're just dominating us right now. We're trying to get some position somehow. I'm trying to run it down, you know, be a little bit aggressive. It works out for the kill on a choppy. But then Levi barely stays alive. And then we pinch men me, but us pitching men me lets Levi live. And they've already done 41%. So, I mean, it's kind of sketchy. And then we miss a bunch of shots on Levi. And then Levi takes Sans into the dimension. Luckily, he wastes it. Uh, and luckily, we get a kill on a choppy. And Sans gets the kill on men me. But they do 63%, which is a lot of percent. But we finally have mid. Sans has his Jesse turret. I get my buster shield off of passively walking behind Sans. And this is what we wanted to show you guys. You put the shield in front of the turret. Meanwhile, Zar is absolutely popping off, by the way. I'm going to go back just so, because I didn't talk about that. And that definitely has to be talked about. But watch what, what Zar does. So while Sans puts a turret down that is absolutely destroying their safe. And I have a shield in front of it. Zar gets one super, which he hits them. He gets his super back. Where he gets two safe hits. He gets another super. So he used three supers. Meanwhile, I'm shielding and getting kills. Meanwhile, Sans is two Jesse Gads sh shooting the safe. I mean, we literally just did 100% in like 10 seconds. And then we come in and we finish the safe. This is a nasty, nasty combo. Now, it's not supposed to do that. It's not supposed to do 100% in a push. But the mixed efforts of myself... Sans and Zar there were literally perfect. We're not going to talk about the fact that Zar missed the save because it just made things look even more epic. But that was just a perfectly played team from all sides. Just unstoppable move. And here, Levi jumps in the middle. And just like game one, we're going to track him down. Four hit shots by Zar and then sniping him on the Colette. You know, I love playing Colette, but Zar has been kind of stealing that brawler from me. But for good reasons, he's been doing a really good job on it. Sans, if you're watching him here, he's just tapping away. I mean, okay, maybe not those three shots, but like I think starting here, maybe tap, 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 tap. Like that's not supposed to happen on Jesse. And if Sans doesn't go down there, I think we 100 out them. If Sans doesn't go down there, we would have a turret. I'm going aggro to protect the turret, which ends up getting me caught out a little bit. If Sans either stays alive or just saves that turret, I think we would have finished this game super fast, 100-0. Because Zara's got his super, but he just can't use it because we're just in too weak of a position right now. And, I mean, we're just not doing enough. Sans hitting some shots on the save, hit one shot on a choppy, but we didn't really do what we wanted to do. Um, I think I should have pushed in a little bit earlier. I don't know. But I go, or not I go down. Zar goes down, Sans goes down, and then I follow up. I take a really weird path. I probably should have just held the right side rather than tried to make a play. Um, but I go down there, and that leads to them getting full position. And just like last time when they had full position, it's just hard to get out. So I walk in a straight line. I guess they don't do a lot of this straight lining in Japan because the Brock messes up his super, forces two people to focus me really hard. 
The Brock moves over. I kill a Chappy. Zara tries to make a play. I put my shield up, but that was definitely a waste of a shield. And then I get two tapped and I also waste my gadget. Oh my God. Oh my God. So it's kind of like, what are you doing, bro? Um, it's not looking too good here. They have some good positioning. Zara wastes his Colette super. He uses his gadget to stay alive, but then he dies. And I mean, oh my God. It's just looking so bad right now. Such a mess. They take the lead. They're up by 3%. Court in the corner, which we can't really take out without a pinch, but we only have 20 seconds, so how are we going to pinch? Sans hits two good shots there. He gets his super. Zar gets his super from hitting the cord, so we're like, all right, full send, full send. We're going in. Collect gadget, Jesse gadget, ton of percent, all of us shooting the save, and game over. We sweep up a probably top five team in the world. And we qualify for the Brawl Stars World Finals. I mean, wow. That was insane. That was nuts. That was tough. That was just... It was just a lot, to be honest. You know, we got the hardest group. The hardest match to qual. We got everything the absolute hardest way possible. Not to mention, all of us were sick. Not to mention, we had to, you know, travel 20 hours to get there. It was just really tough for us. But, I mean, we only lost one set the entire tournament. And we faced three, basically, Worlds teams, to be honest. So, it was an amazing tournament for us. We qualified to Worlds. And we have a super hard group again. Like, can we just get an easy group for once? But it's going to be a lot of fun. We're on a roll. We're looking good. So, I'm excited for it. So is Sans. So is Zar. Uh, so is OG. And everyone just did a fantastic job this entire time. So shout out to the whole SEMN org, all my teammates, OG, Ace, you know, just everyone. Good job. GG's to the people we faced, especially Reject. They were a tough match, although it was a sweep. Everyone knows they're a good player or a good team and have a bunch of good players. But that is going to be it for the video today. So if you guys enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. You're welcome for finally getting a good mic. And thank you, Lex, for being the one that finally delivers for the channel. Catch you guys later. Until then, peace. Hey, you. Yes you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best? The most handsome? The most loved player on your team? And support your favorite creator at the same time? Well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.